Hey everyone, it's time for N Scale Friday. I have a model here from Atlas that we're going to take a look at, so let's go over to the workbench and do just that. Alright, so here's what we're looking at today. This is an N Scale 40 foot rebuilt well car, and this is from Atlas, and it's from their Master Series. I looked on their website and found a whole bunch of these to look at with a few different road names and a whole bunch of different road numbers. So it's worth looking at Atlas's website to see if they have the one you're looking for or several that you're looking for. These go for $32.95. And like I said, they're from the Atlas Master line. Let's take a closer look. The paint and markings on the car are nothing short of perfection. You can see all the little marks down in here that I could not quite make out with my magnifying visor. But the TTX logo and all this other stuff that is visible and legible looks really good. It's very clean printing on this model. And from this angle, you can also see that the detail on the ends like this is separately applied stuff. So taking a look at the brake end, you can see that the brake wheel and all this other little sort of grab detail, separately applied stuff. These are metal etched walkways. And there's a bunch of molded detail that also looks really good on the end here. And looking at the A end, you can see the details about the same as the B end with the etched metal walkways and freestanding grabs. Pretty good for end scale. I'm especially liking all this little detail that's out in here. So anyway, this is a well car, so there's not really a whole lot to see down in the well itself, but I did want to show you this just so you can get a good idea of how the uh, details look on the ends. It's pretty nice. Looking at it from this angle, you can see that there are holes where the pins from the intermodal containers stick into. And that's what those are for. Those are standard on most intermodal shipping container models. They have pins on the bottom and holes like this on the top so that they can stack easier. And I could say the same thing about the bottom. Well cars don't have a lot of detail on the bottom. All their brake details exposed on the top. But I do want to point out that this Chassis, this, well actually the whole car, other than some of the separately applied details, is die cast metal. And uh, something else that's worth pointing out from this angle, which I didn't notice before, to be honest, is that these also have air hoses. There's one on each side. That's pretty cool. I didn't see that before. Let's take a look at that real quick. There it is. From this angle, you can see that there's an air hose. Very cool. So I figured I'd show you how this looks with some intermodal containers loaded into it. The K-Line container on the bottom is a 40-foot container, and the Maersk on top, I believe, is a 48. I'd have to look at it more closely to figure out, but the point is it's bigger. And the 40-foot container fit right in there, just like you would expect it to. Looks awesome. I think Atlas has done a really good job on this car. I was a little bit surprised at how good all the separately applied details are at the end of the car. So good job, Atlas. Something else, it looked especially good when I put the containers in it. I mean, these are the kind of cars that you see on a lot of trains that you see out on the rails these days. It seems like there's a lot of stack trains going across the country these days, and it's good to have something that is something that you see on a regular basis. So great job, Atlas. I'll see you next time.